If you are an overgiver, then this video is for you. We are going to talk about the spirit of geranium essential oil. My name is Desiree DeLunay. I am an acupuncturist, herbalist, and essential oil expert, and I use essential oils to move through energetic and emotional stagnation because they move energy quite quickly. I have written a few books. I am fabulous. I am worthy. I am magnetic and the newest, which is like a reference book for each of the individual essential oils. It is called Elements of Emotion. You know that you overdo it. Overdo it in committing yourself to serving, loving, helping, sharing, supporting everyone and their mother and their sister and their brother and their son and their daughter and coworker, etc. Okay, I understand because I am this way too. And uh, after years and years of giving, 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 hmm, sometimes burnout starts to happen because there is a tremendous amount of energy leakage, tremendous amount, and then physical issues follow eventually. Well, I love using geranium essential oil to correct this matter because what I love about geranium is that it nourishes the yin and it brings energy back into you to flow towards you so that support and love and help and resources start now coming towards you rather than you always giving it out. Now, this is not going to stop you from giving. Please do not think that that's what I'm saying. What happens is that it helps harmonize your giving and receiving so that you have the proper amount of giving, okay? Not too little, not too much. And then also the proper amount of receiving and nourishment, not too little, not too much. Think of it as a calibration tool with your muscle of giving and receiving, just like you tune a guitar or tune a piano until it hits that right tone. That's what I'm talking about. Because when you know the right amounts to give and the right amounts to receive, for you and your needs, you are going to create so much beautiful flow of energy all throughout. The heart is the emperor or the empress of this entire kingdom. Now, this is Chinese medicine speak, okay, as I'm an acupuncturist, and the heart is very much so responsible for delivering blood too, pumping blood throughout all of the body system. So the heart has a pulse on everything. If the heart is weak, okay, then the entire kingdom will be weak. This is not a, a flippant matter here. I know that we have this messaging that it's better to give than receive. Oh my goodness, have I heard that all throughout my childhood. I don't know what, oh, it's probably from culture and from religious roots, but no, giving is not better than receiving and receiving is not better than giving. This is absurd. Yin is not better than yang and yang is not better than yin. That's essentially what we are saying. We need to have both. We need to serve and we need to receive. The point is both matter. Both are important. It's more about the proper amounts at the appropriate times. Once we nail that, whoo, everyone wins. Just remember that when your energy flows smoothly, you give others the opportunity for their energy to flow smoothly as well. When you overgive and you give too much energy to someone who is not really 
mm, digesting it or processing it well, you gum up their system. That's enabling. You gum up their system too. And, and whatever you give actually becomes energetic poison or energetic toxin for them. You see, appropriate amounts at the appropriate time. Now I'm going to give you a blend, a diffuser blend that you can use along with geranium to really help you hone in and calibrate into that proper amount of give and receive, as well as where to direct it. I do love geranium to assist in intuition in heart knowing too. Here it is. You're going to do three drops of geranium, two drops of lemon, and one rosemary. Three geranium, two lemon, and one rosemary. This will help you ease into this transition and also feeling it out. And because you're gonna have to make some adjustments. Geranium's gonna show you, but ew, it might not be so easy to handle the truth, right? It might not be super palatable. So when we add that lemon and the rosemary, it helps us to just kind of take it in and, and accept <laughs> and accept and transition into these new states and these new phases in how we are shifting and playing with our energy in the input and the output. And as you use this blend, diffuse it, you can diffuse it daily for a period of time, for a week or two, however long you feel like you need. It will prevent pathological giving and pathological receiving. Mm. Have you ever been given support and help when you didn't really want it? <laughs> yeah, right? You're like, no, no, there, there's always a cost, right? So prevent pathological giving and pathological receiving. Thank you so much for learning about the spirit of geranium. I hope you enjoy this blend and make sure to like and subscribe if you want to learn more content like this and do hit that bell so that you're notified when a new video is up every single week. If you go click on the link below in the description, you can snag three of my most popular blends from my I Am Fabulous book for free. And check out these other videos if you want to learn some more. A great follow-up would be Aligned or Misaligned and The Spirit of Madagascar Vanilla. Until next time, we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.